Mr Barroso, the recent WikiLeaks storm has led to mixed feelings, with some people saying, well, transparency is good, and others saying, perhaps they'll damage international diplomacy. But I was particularly amused by the references to you um, in WikiLeaks, uh, where it talked about your trip to Russia and the fact that you were ignored and excluded, and the Russian view from upon high that you were nothing more than a glorified international civil servant. Well, Mr. Barroso, remember, we've discussed this before here, and I've pointed out to you again and again that you have not been directly elected by the people, and you therefore have no real legitimacy. Is it that the fact you're unelected is the reason why you don't command more respect on the global stage, and why increasingly the peoples of Europe are holding you and the entire Commission in contempt? Thank you. Mr. I will President. not expect you to find a common line with the Russians, <laughs> because that's what you are suggesting, that you agree with them. Uh, frankly, I mean, I was elected by this Parliament, by secret vote. So I think I deserve the respect of this Parliament, from all members of the Parliament. And I think in the European Union of Democ Democracies, 27 democracies, it's a reasonable way to elect a President of the Commission, because we are not a state, precisely, and you, I'm sure you will not be in favour of a European unified state. Since we are not a unified state, it's not a direct election of a president of the European Union. We don't have that. We have a president of the Commission. You may like it or not. I like him more than you. But, okay. but, but in fact, I have been elected by this Parliament, and there is a president of the European Council that was designated by the heads of state and government. This is the way we are. I think it's a democratic way of handling uh, the diversity of the European Union. And I think that if others do not respect our institutions, at least I hope the members of the European Parliament will respect the institutions we have in the European Union. Additional question. Oh, well, Mr. Barroso, I enjoyed that enormously. The fact that you can stand up and boast about the fact that you were elected in secret and that somehow this gives you democratic legitimacy is the most bizarre concept I've come across in my entire life. The fact is, it is the Commission that has the sole right to propose the kind of legislation that is damaging Europe's economies in the way that it is. Are there any circumstances, sir, in which you think the peoples of Europe should have a referendum so that they can decide these issues? Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, Mr. You, you Mr. Mr. President, that, well, colleagues, colleagues, please, colleagues, uh, colleagues, please, please, colleagues, to all. Well, we would like to, well, I'm sorry. Mr. President Schulz, I'm very sorry. We would like, Mr. President Schulz, we would like to go ahead with our, with our proceeding. Well, colleagues, Mr. So, President uh, Schulz, well, please, of, it's a parliament, and we, uh, Mr. President Barroso, now is the election in the parliament starting. Uh, was an open election, but in fact, as you know, it is considered, at least by many, that the most free election is one when people can take decisions secretly, each one member of the parliament. By the way, in totalitarian systems, usually, secret votes are not allowed, precisely because of the pressure of individual uh, freedoms. This is the first point. Secondly, regarding referendum, I mean, you know, constitutional and democratic theory admits the referendum and also representative democracy. By the way, it was Britain, probably, the country that has done most for representative democracy. It's a perfect legitimate way of uh, deciding in a democracy is by representative democracy. The role of parliaments, be it national parliaments or European parliament, is immensely important in democracy. And I personally believe that some comments against representative democracy they do not reflect the real democratic mind when they are made sometimes so negatively about representative democracy. Thank you very much.